Here's meteorologist Tabon Sharifi, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Welcome back to Contra Valley this morning, everyone. A live look of downtown San Angelo. This is your Cactus North camera. It's about 6.15 this morning. Seeing some cloud cover out there. Starting to see that sunrise. 72 degrees. Dew point of 67 degrees. Humidity at 84%. Those winds currently at the south-southwest at 7 miles per hour. Here's some more temperatures across the region. Looking at 72 degrees in Eden. 72 out in Ballinger. 74 degrees if you're waking up in Junction. A wider view of your satellite and radar picking up on some isolated showers off towards the west of the region. As far as us here in the Concho Valley, some of those showers starting to move into just the western portion of Crockett County. We're also watching a few isolated chances to see some shower development and storm development heading into the afternoon. Not a whole lot in terms of those chances, but the later afternoon hours looking at some spotty shower chances, isolated thunderstorms that'll last through the later afternoon and early evening before that clears out of here pretty quick. So we're in Introducing that slight chance, but again, not looking at a big chance and not looking at widespread coverage. High temperatures will remain right near that seasonal average of 94 degrees. It'll be 95 here in San Angelo this afternoon, 90 degrees in El Dorado, 90 out in Sonora. Off towards the north in Robert Lee, you're looking at 94 degrees. As far as tomorrow, we'll be right near that average for your holiday at 94 degrees. And then we're watching a warming trend. We'll be in the upper 90s as we head closer into your weekend. Here's a little bit of closer look at that seven-day forecast. Dry conditions throughout the weekend. Dry going into next week as well. Plenty of sunshine for the weekend. Overnight low temperatures sticking around the 70s. Also, be sure to visit ContraValleyHomepage.com. You can enter to win an LED smart 4K television for winning with the weather this week. Winner will be announced right here on KLST during News at 6 this Friday.